So I'm standing in front of the 2016 Dyna Lowrider S, a bike law-abiding biker media has had for a while. In today's video, I'm gonna show you one of the easiest and I think best things right out of the gate that you can do to your bike, not only to make it look better, but also to increase safety. Let's dive in. Welcome back, Bikeaholics. Ryan Herdocker here, lawbindingbiker.com. Always thank you, that's right, you, for checking back in. And so I'm talking about Zero 3D Fang LED lights. Now, we carry these right in the Law Abiding Biker store. Sell the heck out of them. Uh, I will put a link in the description below if you appreciate all the free videos we put out and content you want to support us, you can shop in our store. It assures we can continue to help educate, inspire, and entertain as many bikers as we can worldwide. We definitely appreciate your support. All right, so what's so awesome about these? Well, number one, it's the look of them. If we all know the stock Harley signals coming out of the factory are just ugly. These are really easy to install. They're plug and play. That's one of the greatest things about Zero 3D, making it really easy to install stuff like this. They've got a really nice look, um, really kind of a fang look, how they're named and they kind of overhang. Now, one thing you'll want to know, there are different models for different years and makes of bikes. Of course, over in the Law Abiding Biker store, we have all the fitment uh, information that you're going to need to select the right product for your bike. Um, but again, nice plug and play. We're going to show you how to install them on this bike. A uh, really nice thing about these is the front ones, there are front and rear, so they don't come in a set of four, they actually come in twos. So when you're in our store, if you want all four, which I would definitely recommend, you're gonna wanna grab two front ones and two rear ones. They come in black or chrome, depending on uh, how you have your ride styled out. Uh, the only other thing I wanna mention is that the front ones uh, are white, so they're gonna give you extra light up front. And what I mean by that is when you're running down the road, uh, just normally, off to the side of your headlights, you're gonna get that extra white light. And then of course, when you activate your signal, uh, the front ones are gonna turn amber, so whether it's right or left signal. So dual functionality on those front ones, nice way to dress up the front of your bike. And again, super important for that safety because we all know all the crazy cagers out there trying to take us out on these bikes. The more lighting, the more visibility you can have is definitely going to increase your chances of not being in an accident. All right, so you're looking at two different sets here, front and rear again. You're gonna have to order the front and rear for your bike. I'd suggest getting all four, trick your bike uh, all the way out there if you're gonna do it. For this uh, application, I'm gonna put the rear ones over there. I'm gonna actually unbox these, show you what you get in your kit after you order them from our store and they promptly arrive at your doorstep. Now for this application, you'll see we actually got the black for the Dyna Lowrider S. But one thing to think about is some guys will still, even though they have a black bike, they'll get chrome. Um, and the reason is, is the housing's black and then they'll like to get this chrome and really make it pop off the black. But we're again, we're doing black for the Dyna Lowrider S, but really that comes down to personal preference. You'll get instructions, don't worry about those because we're gonna show you how to install these bad boys. The one thing you'll know about uh, Zero 3D stuff when you get it uh, out is just the quality of it. I'm telling you, these are high quality, unlike a lot of the other junk out there on the market. They really know what they're doing. They build a quality product. These are gonna last the lifetime of your bike. And again, nice plug and play. Of course, this comes in your kit, do not eat that. Do not suggest eating that. Um, but with that said, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you how to get these installed on the bikes, uh, on the bike and some tips and tricks. Okay, yes, I know this looks weird, but get a glove. I'll show you why in a minute if you're gonna save your halogen bulbs. These stock hardy ones come out very, very easy. All you're gonna need is a straight slot screwdriver. If you feel under here, you'll feel it, there's a gap. Just find that with your screwdriver and get it there in the gap. And then I'm just prying out a little bit and that's how easy those stock signals pop off. I'll do that to both sides. And that's why I'm wearing the glove. You don't want to damage. If you're gonna save these halogen bulbs, uh, make sure you're wearing a glove so you don't get your fingerprints on them. And these are just a push quarter turn. I push and turn just a little bit counterclockwise and they'll pop right out. All right, for this part, you're gonna be up and close and you're gonna to need to see some channels up in there. So if you're old like me, you may wanna get your spectacles on so you can see what I'm talking about here. So you'll see on this, there's actually two nipples. There's one on top one on bottom there, all right? And uh, they only go one way, so if it's not working, then you've got it wrong. And you'll see the one nipple is farther back and the other one's farther up, and you do wanna get those in right. And so these actually, these channels in here, which you'll see when you look up in there, they don't actually run up and down. They're kind of at an angle back in there. So you wanna line those nipples up, and that's what I'm doing. That's why I got my glasses on here. So we can push it back in there. And again, just look and make sure you're in those channels. And there's a straight slot 
spot there so you'll need to use the screwdriver and you'll see that didn't go in so I'm going to pop it around and it's actually this nipple that goes up it should go in very easy I've got it in the channels there we go and just a quarter turn so again they can only go in one way but that quarter turn you'll feel it click and then that's at least plugged in right there okay so now that that's plugged in properly you don't want to pinch these wires in between obviously that would be bad so one of the tricks we do is just twist it a little bit you'll see the wires twisting up and that's going to get them kind of not too much but kind of set back in there you can push them back with your fingers and then we're going to get everything lined up here to snap these into place all right so the, the main thing on these is the tolerances are really tight so they snap in there of course that's to keep moisture out and stuff it can be a little bit of a bear to get in but what we want to do is just make sure you're not just the bottom in or just the top in you really want to try to level these off and just be careful not to pinch your fingers in between there i'm holding the fang and i'm getting this lit up or not lit up but lined up i should say and once i do that i'm going to give it a little pop being careful not to pinch my fingers and just make sure you know you can rotate them a little bit after so they're right but uh, that's how those go in. If you get it all lined up, it'll pop in pretty easy like that. Okay, so we're on the rear of the bike. Again, guys, I'm just feeling for that notch. We'll do one more here, find it, and I'm just prying a little bit. Pry that uh, right off there. And again, glove, halogen bulb, so we can save these. All right, still got my glasses on so I can see those channels. And again, remember they don't go up and down. They're kind of at an angle, and I'm gonna get that lined up. And just to reiterate, they can only go one way. You should not have to force it. I'm gonna push in, and I got it right the first time. So we're good, and again, at that angle, quarter turn, you'll feel it kind of click into place there. And we'll go ahead and twist the wires back up just like we did. We don't want to pinch those in. All right, I'm just going to do a couple twists and make sure those are not in between. Just really be careful of that. And uh, again, I'm just lining it up. Again, I'll have some lead way to turn that afterwards. Watch your fingers so they don't get pinched. I'm just holding the fang and... A pretty forceful pop there and you see popped right into place and uh, we'll do the other side the same all right so you can see on the rear the stock lenses were red so this is a really nice look they're completely white um, really pop on the rear of the spike here of course the front ones are the same of course when we light it up as I'll do right now they turn red now you can see stock just how much brighter these are and that's just your running lights running down the road this is super important um, for safety so you don't get rear-ended. You do not want to get rear-ended on a motorcycle. Um, and this is going to give uh, drivers behind you just that much more pop that hopefully they're distracted, they're texting, we all know that, whatever they're doing, that we can give them a good pop that may get their attention um, and you can avoid a rear-end accident. Of course, that's how they look with the brakes. We can turn on a signal, same thing, nice and bright. So those behind you, can see that you are signaling getting ready to turn along with a brake really just going to give you a chance to get their attention so let's go ahead and move up front here and we'll look at those all right so you can see up front instead of red all the time like the rear we've got that extra white light up front great to be seen of course at night you've got extra light uh, in addition to your headlight which we also strongly suggest uh, we've got a lot of options in our store for aftermarket led lights uh, Ciro, Vision X being one of them. Um, check the store out. I'll put some links in the description below for you. So white when you're running down the road. And then we'll hit a signal here. And you'll see really nice pop to that amber color. Again, a lot brighter than those stock halogens. So turn the signal off and it pauses there and we're back to white. Now, something you need to be aware of. You see this is flashing a normal rate. This is a 2016, so it's, it's uh, 14 or newer basically and on those bikes when you put these in you're they're gonna uh, flash that normal rate that we're used to if you have an older bike uh, you may need a load equalizer if that bugs you and you don't want them flashing real quick uh, we do uh, in our description in our store uh, we have some options for a load equalizer if that bugs you that can definitely take care of that problem with some recommendations on which one to use and that'll give you that nice steady signal that we're used to now on this bike of course, it's 14 and newer. We're getting the nice flash, but on our dash panel, we're actually getting a really fast uh, green flash. So you would think that the signal was flashing really quick because the dash panel says that, but it's not. Now there is a way if that bugs you on your dash panel, if you don't want to see that real quick flash. Uh, in the instructions, when you buy them from us, uh, we give, uh, there are some instructions on basically uh, you can manipulate a series with your signal switches. It's very easy. Again, I'll just leave it to the instructions. Um, a sequence you can go through on how to stop uh, and get that dash light normalized again. 
one take, bitches. Yeah. All right, you're not done on the channel. I'm popping a couple videos on the screen here for you. Hopefully something useful or entertaining. Heck, maybe both. At any rate, when you're done watching the videos, make sure you get out there and ride every chance you get, bikeaholics. Peace.